right, guys. All right, we all right, are all back right. with another video. Yeah. I'm yeah. your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don here. <laughs> Having fun over here, bro. Right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we are Break Room bl Blitz. Ah, we, are, Blitz. we are Break Room Blitz. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. There's rules on the channel. If we make you laugh or smile at any point, hit that like button. If we make you think, go ahead and comment, all right? If you just want to see our beautiful faces, you know, <laughs> uh, every week go ahead and hit that subscription button with the notification bell, okay? We are a small right. channel trying to do big things. So the more you share, the bigger we get, the more videos that you're going to get, all right? All right. All right. So, we wanted to do a top 10 movies of, of the year so far. Yeah. Um, so, we got some honorable mentions, but we're going to do 10, all right? We're six months in. Right. We're six months in. Let's see how the year has added up. Yeah. Better than 2017 so far, for sure. Absolutely. But, let's just see where we are, where we land at. Cool. Uh, I'll go with my first two okay. honorable mentions. All right. Um... Uncle Drew. Oh, Uncle Drew. I thought it was funny. We just saw that. It Fresh was a fun Drew. movie. It was not, fun. Not the, not the best comedy you ever saw. It was clean, fun. Right. Entertainment. Uh, and then I have The Incredibles. You guys might hate me for that. <sighs> but it's not on my top ten. Can't wait to see this top ten. I'm sorry. It just didn't live up to the first one for me. Okay. And in our review, you will see. I said it reminded me of Return of Jafar. It's still a good movie, but it's not Aladdin. Mm. Incredibles 2, it was cool. Straight to DVD. But it ain't <laughs> The Incredibles 1, no. Oh, man. You know, so, All right. those are my two. What do you got here? Uh, I got uh, Rampage, and okay. I got Ready Player One, which is... What? As much as you guys talked about that shit. <sighs> you know... It's an honorable mention? And, and, and that's what's the really interesting part of this top ten, is because I felt like I was... I, you guys can't imagine how much I absolutely love the book. I love the book. I love it, love it, love it so much that, you he know. He talked about it all goddamn day. I did. I binged. That's how much. I binged the book. And then when I saw the movie, I was like, yeah, 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 this is going good. Uh, and then it was just like on the decline after that. But it, it has a rewatch value, which I love. I love this movie. I just can't put it on my top ten. You say so. That's why, that's why I ain't on the top ten. Yeah, I can't. Was that the first one? Was that uh, Rampage, uh, oh, Ready yeah. Player One. Oh, okay. uh, you want to be one, one more top? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. That's just I, that's it. Oh, you I, have one more. Okay. I would say, and it, this was a hard one for me too. The Strangers Pray at Night. So oh, the Stranger, because it's a, a slasher movie. That's a two, okay. And I can respect that. I enjoy myself with that movie, like weirdly, because oh, I'm, I'm not into like horror movies like that. But I, oh, I love slasher. The first Stranger was, was my cool. shit. Um, okay, so I'll go with my first. We're going to do uh, 10 through ten 6. 10 through 6. You do the same, and we'll go All right. on from there. All right, number 10. Number 10. I have a solo movie. Solo movie. I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I mean, as you can see, I'm a Star Wars fan. Jedi. It wasn't It wasn't Force Awakens, mm -hmm. but it was okay. I didn't need it. Yeah. But... It was cool. I didn't. I wasn't like bored, or I wasn't like, oh, this is just stupid. It was. It was entertaining. He's not. And that's, that's one thing people gotta understand. Someone asked me that, and um, some sandwich place I walked in another day. Oh. Uh, that if I saw it, I said, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. It did. Okay, how was it? I was like, well, it's not Harrison Ford. It's not Harrison Ford. It is Han Solo that we're looking right. at. Yeah. So if you just remember that, that he's a character. Yeah. It's not a person. Then I think you'd be okay with it. Mm -hmm. um, it did really bad, but I, I still kind of like it. Thought it was okay. It was cool. Um, then I have Annihilation. Annihilation. It was interesting. Okay. Um, the ending kind of like, uh, but yeah. the ride getting there, I thought was pretty good. Yeah, it was clever. Uh, number eight, I have Upgrade. I no love great. all the fights. Yeah. It was pretty dope. All the camera angles. Mm -hmm. um, number seven, I have Jurassic World. Wow. Um, okay. Cool. It isn't my favorite Jurassic Park. I, I call them all Jurassic Park. Yeah. Um, but it's probably number three. Yeah. You know, so I just you got to just not really think about all the logic that goes into it. Right. And just look at it as I'm seeing dinosaurs. It's a dinosaur people, movie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then for six, I have Deadpool. Yeah. Uh, it was I thought it was better than the first one. 
uh, the villain I thought was better than the first one, mm-hmm. uh, or the uh, antagonist was better than the first one. It wasn't really a villain. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm gonna go with that's my that's my uh, ten through six. What uh-huh. you got here? I have Solo being my number ten. Oh, okay, we, all right, we agree with something. Uh, for for the same reasons, exactly the same reasons. Uh, visually, it was kind of cool. Um, I, I I like what they did with it. Some things, meh, but you know, right, right, right. Uh, it did set up quite a bit for whatever else they plan on doing. Right, later they threw out some characters that they shouldn't have, or maybe they it kind of like was a waste of a character kind yeah. of. But yeah. it was still pretty good. So for that, uh, number nine. Now my number nine is uh, Cloverfield Paradox. What? So. <laughs> It, it, and it, and it, it was a really interesting thing because it was a Netflix movie, but, you know, to me, I like all that different, like, different uh, dimension, different time and all that uh, things. There was a lot visually going on mm. and it just, it, I don't know, for me, it, it captured, you know, my attention, my curiosity and everything. Cause I, fine. And I love the first Cloverfield. I didn't so. dislike it, so I'm not... <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I didn't think you would put that at all. No, yeah. But it's up there for when, me, when, top 20. When, when I really thought about it and replayed the movie in my head, yes, it's going to make the list because it was it was so different. It was just completely different out of all the uh, all the movies that we've seen this year. Kind of like your Annihilation kind of deal going on. Okay, but all right. I, I would go for this one. Uh, my number eight is Upgrade. So I think we tied on that one. We are tied on that one, Upgrade. Yeah. Because Upgrade, it was dope. I liked the Kung Fu fighting. It was really cool. Uh, just really fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I-, I would rewatch that movie a hundred times. Um, uh, number seven, Deadpool 2. So I put Deadpool 2. Uh, it was cool. Uh, I mean, not as raunchy as the first one. So, I mean, it's going to make the list. But, um, you know, Ryan Reynolds, sometimes it's just too much of Ryan Reynolds, too much of Deadpool quirkiness, so? yeah, it kind of takes away from uh, the movie for me at times. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, it's kind of like saying that Chris Pratt is too Chris Pratty in Guardians. I mean, it, that's just yeah. But but I think that the thing about it is that he, he they need to share the light as far as like you know get some more characters to be funny around you so you could all be funny together. Well, he had Domino. I thought Domino was pretty cool. Domino was cool. You know the pop. Wasn't who she was. Oh I'm like, what? Pop, what? How is this from Deadpool? They, they they didn't take it from the movie. They took it from the comic, which is, I don't, you know what? Not I'm here. not even. <laughs> <laughs> um, my number six is Superfly. What was your number six? All right, Superfly. Uh, Deadpool. Deadpool. Okay, Superfly because Superfly, it's good. It's good. I I really liked it. Like when you talk about like fight scenes, you know, this choreography oh, yeah. was dope. Oh, yeah. I liked what they did with like the whole like fighting. Um, and the guns. The, the guns. Okay. Talk the, about like hacking. Yes. It was. They dope. have the biggest guns. I, I'm like, what is this? A video game? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the Matrix. And it looked real. It, it was from the uh, makers of the Matrix. You know, uh, whether that be producers, whoever it is. And it kind of translated. It was dope. To me, it was dope. It was cool. I don't know. I guess he, they were the producer. The director was... He's a... Uh, director X, I believe his name is. Something like that. But he's a... Uh, a video... A, a uh, music, music video, video yeah. director. Uh, so that was his debut. Uh, I'm not... I'm okay. I'm, I'm rolling with that. I mean, the only one I think that is a little out of place... Cloverfield, Is huh? a Cloverfield one. It's really weird. It is a little weird. But hey, I got my Incredibles as a... Uh, Honorable. Honorable mention. Whew. So I guess I can't say much. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we'll just move on. Yeah. Number five. Number five. I have. We're gonna do five through uh, two. Two. Okay. Yeah. So number five, I have Acrimony. Acrimony. Uh, drama. Drama by. Uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Medea. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Yeah. Uh, I like. Tyler Perry movies when he's not in the dress. Mr. Tyler Perry. Hmm. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's on some days, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and when he's not in costume, mm. I like his movies. He's a great writer uh, if he's not in the movie. Yeah. Um, Acrimony was great. It was a good really story. Really good drama. We got to see a, one story told by two different perspectives. Because they always say, you know, there's... His side, her side, and the truth. And we got to see both of that. Yeah. Right? I've never seen that in a movie where I get to see two perspectives of the same story. And I would definitely call it a chick flick, but it's definitely drama where, like, 
if I took a girl to go see it, I would enjoy it just as much, I feel. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a really good drama, I feel like. So was, that's why that's yeah. my number five. All right, cool. Uh, number four is... This is a hard one. It was a hard one. It, it, four and three are interchangeable, but we have to just, you know, place for time yeah. purposes, we just went ahead and just placed them, like mm-hmm. you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Quiet Place, Woo. number four. I've never seen anything like that. Um, they ke- Well, spoiler alert. Yeah. They killed a kid right in the beginning. Yeah. I'm like, golly. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, well, actually, that's not what I did. I was laughing real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they snatched him. I wasn't expecting that. So fast. I thought in some way he was gonna snatch the little uh, plane, Sink. throw it in the woods somewhere, right? And then he was gonna be able to save his son. Nope. Ah, wrong. Learn from your mistakes. And you know, then they had to, to play it out. It was a very well thought out movie. I am a John, Jim, Jim. No, no, no. Jim his Halper. name is John uh, Kronowski or something like that. No, but Jim. It's Jim. Okay, fine. <laughs> Jim <laughs> from the office. From the office. I am a big fan of his. So if Jim. I see him in something, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, he did, pretty he, much. He anything. wrote it and directed it. Right. Okay. It was his movie. His movie, and I cannot wait for the Tom Clancy show uh, <gasps> oh, on yeah. Amazon. Oh, I'm so gonna I'm binge watching it. that. Oh hell yeah. So he's. I'm just. I'm a. I'm a big fan. So cool. Uh, a Quiet Place number four, and then I have Superfly's number three for me. Wow. Okay. It got smashed. From Rotten Tomatoes and all Did the it? other ratings, yeah, it got smashed. Oh, but man. I don't understand what, because uh, uh, even like Screen Junkie said that it, it reminded them of like a music video. I I didn't see that. I what I saw was I thought brilliant. I was, thought it was brilliant. Uh, I thought it way. was. I thought it was gangsters doing it up in Atlanta. You know. Right, and it had clubbing. moral, it had morals to and it. It did. It really. It did. wasn't just a shoot 'em up. No. You know they had to go through some of that, but you gotta play the game he, to win it. It reminded me uh, a little bit of Power. You know the guy. Oh was, yeah. I know you said you didn't like Power, but the Club guy owner, comes from yeah. the hood trying to get out. That's right. And yeah. that's what they're trying to do. Uh huh. And like you said, the fight scenes, dope. It was great. Like the choreography. I'm like, are they really hitting each other right now? Yeah. I love it. They were. They were throwing real punches. I feel. And some of the scenes that I've never seen, he had two women, and maybe that that might have rubbed people the wrong way. He had two women. He had two two girlfriends. All right, whatever. I don't know what why it got smashed, but I would say you guys definitely should see Superfly. I, I liked it for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, all right, what are your five to three? All right, so five to three. My number five is A Quiet Place. Obviously, okay. for the same reasons. All right. We've seen Aliens in different light. I like this better than Signs. For oh yeah, sure. the design was really. Oh yeah, it was better than Signs. Right. It was better than Signs. It was better than Signs. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and Jim, so really great. Right. Um, Incredibles 2, I mean, I know that you're not a big fan of it. That's, uh, my number four, yeah. Yeah, so Incredibles 2, you know, uh, it's been 14 years since they made this, so. And that's what you got, Scooby-Dude. Scooby-Dude! Ugh! (laughs) Yeah, I'm fighting myself on it, believe me, believe me. That's Um, that guy's, that's that's his thing. That's my thing. Scooby-Dude. Yeah, I can predict it. That's his, he's critical in movies that you get Scooby-Dude. And then he has one on his top four list. It's something for the kids, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, number three, Den of Thieves. Because uh, aside from having... Look, look. Aside from having, uh, you know, hero movies be my favorite genre, fantasy, sci-fi, that kind of thing, I love heist movies. I really like you heist movies. You must love them a lot. Um, no matter what they give you. <laughs> movies that take place in L.A., I like it too. So, I mean, when I have some of that combined and shoot them up, it was like a new modern age heat movie for me. Um, I just really enjoyed the movie. Um, there was a lot, there was some flaws for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> and some uh, deceptions. Like, I thought oh. 50 Cent was in the goddamn movie. Trailers are going to be trailers, you know, that, that hook you and they, they'll catfish like, you. Where the hell 50 Cent at? Yeah. He, he a side piece? That's right. But he all over the goddamn poster. You got to sell him. <sighs> um so yeah that, i mean it's i that should have been a, at least an honorable mention oh well, okay <laughs> fine <laughs> this is why we're doing this i couldn't there's no way i can put it that was your what number three, three. slap <laughs> <laughs> you know now that <laughs> when i think about it we didn't have a lot of time okay hold on a minute you gotta give me some 
I, I wanted a week. <laughs> I wanted a week to sit on this. This guy gave we me 30 minutes. We talked about this like a whole month. So, okay. Number three is... Uh, it, it, it fell in order that the, it came out in theaters. March, right around the beginning of the year. So, that's where it got placed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Number two! <laughs> Number two for me... I'm going to go ahead and do... We'll do number two and two, and then one and one. Okay, okay. Uh, Infinity War. Oh, I, I, I knew it. I put it <laughs> at number two just because the ending was really disappointing for me. The people really? that they had disappear, I know, are not dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to have sequels coming up. You think you're going to be clever, do you? Why would... Now, if they would have done, like... Uh, Iron Man or Captain America, yeah, Black Widow, and I'm like, oh snap, what they gonna do? Yeah, but they did Spider Man, which we know is gonna be another Homecoming. Right, it, it might not be called Homecoming, but it's gonna be a part two. Right, they did Black Panther. Well, we know it's gonna be a part two to Black Panther. Yeah, they ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so it just was like, oh man, predictable, but yet melodramatic. <sighs> it just disappointed me on that one. That's why I have it on number two. Uh, but it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Uh, that's why it's on number two. Yeah. Um, I enjoy myself. I love the villains. The villains are great. The, uh, I guess the wizards that they had. I forgot the, the oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That had the telekinesis. Alien guy. It was great. It's good. <laughs> yeah. It was great. I loved him. I hated when they killed him off. But Spoiler alerts, of course. We, we keep saying this. You should have seen this already, okay? I know. What's wrong with you? If you haven't seen it by now... Shut the hell up. It was great. Uh, what do you got for number two? Number two, and I fought myself on this. Did you? I did. Did, did you fight harder than you did for three? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the funny thing about my number two is that it came out in February, which is Black Panther. So Okay. It was, right, it was, right. the, it, that's why it's my number two. You know, we had January, February, March, and I just started placing movies and then moving them about. Black Panther... It, it, it's, it's like a one and a half. I can't even say how great this movie is. I mean, it, it, it first of all, it's one of the best origin stories ever told. Like, right. period. Right. Uh, regardless of it being, like, hero or not, you know, it, you know, we, we had several hero movies, you know, every single origin. This is definitely up there. Um, the shit. Top movie by far, beginning, in, you know, of the year. Last year we had Wonder Woman, and I can only compare it to something like that but this was just amazing to me it was oh, great yeah. it oh, was yeah. for me it beats wonder woman it's uh number three i believe in uh domestic domestic okay number three movie of all time so all time um, i believe it <clears throat> it's still it's still even beating infinity war domestically uh so I, that's a good choice it, I, I can't say it, it was that. dope i loved it all right number one number one let me, let me guess just so i mean i guess i'm gonna just piggyback and go to the Black Panther. We're talking about again. it. Again. We're talking about um, it. It's historical. It is. And that's the that's a, another reason why I put it over Infinity War, is that it is historical. Unfortunately, in 2018... In 2018. It is historical, but you've never seen nothing like that on film. We got so many people talking about Wakanda. We got so many <clears throat> people talking about the whole cast. We got people thinking that Wakanda by, is a real place. Like, trying to book flights <laughs> on Expedia. <laughs> I'm going to book my flight. <laughs> It's not real, man. Yeah. It's, uh, are they, they going to be in the next Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how good it is. It started a movement. Like, people were going to see it four or five times. I saw it twice. I got it on DVD. The uh, actual, uh, yeah. the the deleted scenes, great. It should have oh, been I in the movie. I have seen the deleted scenes. They should have been in the movie. Uh. Uh, but it's still fine. Uh, I thought, I was like, oh, I wanted a director's cut. It's probably not going to be a director's cut because he did everything that was just, he just did it well. Yeah. Um, cool. He did a good job. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Ryan. Johnson. No. <laughs> no Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Coogler. Okay. <laughs> Slap. I know, from Star Again. Wars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's my number one. It was dear to my heart, you know, seeing my people doing something that was, you know, one historical. One positive, they're uh, intellectual. You know, they're smart. They're, he, they're the they're the Illuminati of Marvel. Marvel, yeah. You know, so it was good to see that on film. Um, we best didn't... villain. <clears throat> I, we got two of the best villains. Two of the best villains. Two of the best. Villains. I hated that they killed. Uh, what's his name? Smeagol. The hand. Yeah. It's not the hand. Uh, uh, 
I'll be his name, but with the white guy. Yeah. Um, I hated that they killed him off because he was the most charismatic villain that, that Marvel has ever had. Hopefully they can bring Sweet. him back as a clone or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. But I would like to see him again. He was a brilliant villain. And of course, uh, Killmonger was also dope because that it was it's a duality. Because a lot of black people really? feel like Black Panther, and there's a lot of black people who feel like Killmonger. And we were able to relate to both of them. So to me, it was just a great movie. Number one, for sure. It's probably going to be, at, in, in December, it's probably still going to be number one. I believe it. Oh, it definitely should. I mean, of all time. I mean, it's, just, it's so solid. So who you got at number one? Number one, Infinity War. Infinity! Oh, Look. Sorry. And you got to just say, I mean, most of that last portion of Infinity War took place of all of Wakanda. I mean, right. that's so kind of cheating. That's where it went down. It went down in Wakanda. Oh, yeah, that was like the Earth's last resort right there. It was a great way to put... I didn't know how they were going to put all these characters in there. I didn't know how they were going to put them all in there. X-Men can't even pull it off. No, no, so, you can't. You can't. I was like, I don't know. This is way too many. And you know what, Loki Wong kind of like bumped out on everybody though. Dude, why he's like, you, I'm out of here, bro. I gotta y'all go figure it out. Protect the sanctum though. <laughs> I gotta do this. This is my job. You let me know what right. happens. With right, you. I'm gonna be over here. Yeah, y'all gonna be over there. Yeah, uh, go get Luke Cage or low, something. Low, low key, he kind of bumped out. He did, but he, it was a great movie. It was a great movie just because you know we had all these characters. It, it's Thanos. T- it's it's like ten ten years in the making. Yeah. yeah, ten years in the making. I mean, it everybody's character and the way that they mixtured everyone because we got all these different, you know, captains and commanders and you know everyone's like their own specific. You know, you got Black Panther leading Wakanda, you got Iron Man leading you know Avengers. And, right, right, right. You know, it all just came together in a cohesive story where even the ending didn't completely disappoint me. I didn't know it was gonna happen like that, but. I kind of liked that it did happen like that. Like no, it was it was dope. It just could have been better. It, That's all. It's a little more thought into it. It could have. And then maybe it could have because we know that these characters are going to come back. We do know that. We so it makes that. it not as impactful. Right. Kill the ones that we're not really sure about. Like, uh, is Cap coming back or right? And, what? And, and, and that was the other thing. They kept a lot of the original Avengers as far as like Cap, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk. Um, and so we got to assume, okay, well, we got the original Avengers still on here. So, I mean, we can't get like one of those pivotal characters to like be done off. But... Oh, they did your boy Vision dirty. Ooh. His body is made out of an, uh, uh, vibranium, vibranium and they were just piercing him like it was nothing. I'm like, is this uh, vibranium or, s- or s- no? Oh, they did Hulk. Terrible. They KO'd Hulk was straight up in the first scene. Talk about bitch assness. Oh. No. <laughs> but you don't even want to come we, out again? We need you. No. <laughs> I could not believe that. I need to see some cutscenes from that because I was waiting for him to bust out of that Hulk Buster armor for the longest time. And that was Yeah, because they got a pop like that. They do have a pop like that. Funko Pop, what's Nothing. the deal? No. What what did you guys watch? <laughs> <laughs> they wa- they've watched uh, part four already. Yeah, I know. Or, right? uh, is it four? Yeah, it was, yeah, four. They watched Infinity War four. Man. Or two. Whatever. They've seen the next one already. They've That's seen it happening. before all the CGI hits right, it. Right, right. Or maybe it was just, um, uh, what's that art? To, uh, concept Concept art. Yeah. Maybe that's what they saw. Concept art. I don't know, but it, it definitely fooled me. Oh. But it was cool. It yeah. was a nice little trick. I thought it was coming out. He never did. I, th- I, I thought it would have been like the icing on the cake because everyone's just like waiting for the Hulk to bust out. Even Iron Man. He's like, come on, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. But go they, get the bad they, guy. They downplay Hulk so much okay. in order to put Thor up. I'm like, man, Thor cannot beat the Hulk. Man. So he's definitely not beating Thanos. And Thor was so OP, overpowered, when he got the new Stormbreaker axe. Well. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, it was so good. I, I, I That, to me, was so cool. <clears throat> there were so many cool team-ups with, like, uh, Winter Soldier picking up Rocket Raccoon. And then mm. when uh, Captain America and Black Panther are taking off, like, Wakanda forever! <laughs> I was like, oh, Yes! That was good. That was freaking yeah, awesome, no, man. Hulk wasn't running behind him like he should have been in like in a trailer. But all right, that Never is happened. our <laughs> that's our top ten with some honorable mentions. Let us know what you thought. Do you think that our list is just terrible? Do you think that number three should have been 
Den of Thieves. Den of Thieves. <laughs> Do you think the name. Incredibles 2 should have been on Roman Mention? Right. Am I tripping with the, the Incredibles? I probably am. I'm sorry. It just was dear to my heart and it didn't live up to my What's expectations, okay? What's my expectations was way up here. <laughs> been 14 years, damn it. <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, please Excuse like, me. share, subscribe, and comment. We will let you know why you're wrong if you disagree with us. We will... Uh, praise you if you agree if you do agree with us and uh, we will just acknowledge your presence if you just want to say hi okay so yeah I don't mind I interact with our with all our fans okay yeah so where, where can we find you you find me on Instagram and Facebook at pwned pops that's P W N E D P O P S make custom figures like that Dragon Ball Z you know I got some My Hero Academia ones this is a up. basic one this is basic this is basic this is level one I love it though because it's icon but it's basic. It's a this good dude, class. he go way up. He got tears. Yeah. You want something that's uh, expert level? That's him right there. Do it all day. And you can find me on all the social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Break Room Blitz, all right? All right. All right. Cool. We out, baby. Peace. Peace.